Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Voilo Voilo Vlog. Today we're gonna be blasting Canada's fourth dimensional death metal beings known as Tomb Mold, Manners of Infinite Forms on 20 Bucks Spin Records. Crushing death metal from Canada that could have been from Finland if you didn't know any better. But awesome, awesome artwork by B. Moore and just awesome, awesome death metal from Tomb Mold. I really wish Blood Harvest would send 20 bucks spin some copies of their debut, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't afford the shipping, but hey, I got lucky today. Got a copy of Incinerated Lobotomized for fucking 19 bucks here in America. So I didn't have to deal with the Australian shipping price, which would have put me around 30 some dollars. As much as I love Incinerated, that's a little bit too much money. So being able to get it from the record label, Night Rhythm, fuck yeah. But here we are with Australia's Advangard death metal at this point in time I would say legends they've been around long enough to call portal legends but their sophomore release ultra fuck this is when the curator was wearing a clock on his head and as you can see this gorgeous artwork completely shows that in a horrific way because this music right here is seriously, if there is a such thing as hell, this is probably what you're gonna hear when you travel down that vortex into the abyss. Portal Ultra is seriously so fucking gnarly from the opening track Moil to just like 13 Globes, which is probably my favorite track on here. But, uh,. Every single track is fucking sick. I love this like little Lovecraftian being right here. And this is like a dual release. I think Hell's Headbangers took care of the vinyl and Profound Lord did the um, CD and whatnot. But I fucking dig the shit out of the big giant clock and whatnot. I'm not really sure if there's any like hidden details behind uh, the clock significance and whatnot because it is set at different times as you can see and whatnot. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not 100% sure, but these eight tracks are death metal, like completely on gnarly LSD and just craziness. Like, when it comes to, you know, putting extra strings on guitars, I always used to be like, like, if it always felt fucking weird and, you know, like something some new metal band would do. But then a band, you know, like a Morbid Angel pulled it off, I felt, I feel like, very well, especially on Gateways to Annihilation. It just had a really, really heavy feeling to it, the riffs and whatnot. But, like, Portal's Ultra, I feel like those extra strings are kind of essential to creating the vibe and atmosphere that sounds like a swarm of bees coming out of the vortex that is hell, sonically. Hidden beneath loads of tremolo picking and whatnot, there's just these other worldly riffs. And it's one of the things to me that make Portal so interesting is the replay value. Like, at first you might be like, how the fuck are you enjoying this record? First off, it sounds like a goddamn haunted house. Secondly, it sounds like a fucking nightmarish bad trip. But then there's the awesome, just experimental death metal side of things that make this something completely special and at the time this is a 2007 release not every single band was kind of you know wearing the all black you know covering their obscuring their faces and whatnot and wearing the robes and 
bringing the more ritualistic side of death metal to the stage in a more, you know, anonymous way instead of being like, hey, you know, we have another band called Impetuous Ritual that play just brutal caveman influenced death metal. Portal just take things, you know, completely out of the realms of just normal death metal and create something completely horrifying and at the same time extremely, extremely fucking interesting and not boring because, like I said, this has a very, very high replay value in my opinion all considering your taste in music. If experimental death metal is not your thing, then, you know, maybe you should just stick to some, like, Dead Congregation or Incantation, you know, just keep it simple. But if you want to, like, reach outside of, like, your comfort zone and you know you're going to, like, get an eighth of mushrooms or something, I highly recommend eating them while listening to this record and probably by the time you get to the B-side and the title track, you're going to be like, What the fuck? Because this is terrifying. Like, I'm not remotely joking. Like, this record just will fuck with your head. Especially, like, with repeated listens and the more you hear what's actually going on beneath, like, that swarm of bees sounding, like, guitar riffing and tremolo picking. It's like... Holy shit, and the drumming on here, completely, like, off-time fucking madness. I have no idea how these guys even come up with these fucking songs. When it comes to the song structure and all that stuff, it's like a guitar nerd's wet dream is figuring out what Portal's doing with their music. And... I heard they went back to normal six-string guitars on Ion, their new album, which when I listened to it, I was like, what the f- whoa! This is sick! Like, when it comes to, like, technicality and stuff, I always knew Portal was capable of bringing the goods, but, like, Ion for Portal is a lot more straightforward than a lot of their other releases. But at the same time, it's still fucking Portal, and it's insane sounding. And you have the curator with vocal cords, pulpit forecaster, dictatorship, horror allegorium with seven deadly uh, sinews of omatic trauma. A, a, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm butchering these names, but uh, a folk moat. Seven mandolin chaopanotic infrastructure elsewhere withering undertow omittings and rift monocular the hands of time and you have the clock father art by Jeff Lau and just real sick stuff here when it comes to just the art design I really really dig it like like I said, I like this, like, Lovecraftian little touch here, and, like, just everything about the whole, like, clocks and whatnot, and this art, like I said, is just absolutely horrifying, because that's what the vocalist during this time period looked like, but, uh, I like these pictures of the band members and stuff, and, uh, yeah, just real sick stuff. And lyrically, this record's just fucking crazy. Like, half of it, I have no idea what's going on. Like, on Black Houses, midway through, it's just like... Sepia, Accord V, Stignin, Operinus, Antipods, Drear Thy Larder, Pardor Thy Quai, Villis Ecto, Villis Ecto, Villis Ecto, Ecto, Villis, Ecto, Villis, Ecto, Villis, Ecto, Plague, Wove, Run. It's fucking gnarly, like, seriously. And these pictures are just sick as fuck. And I think that's pretty cool, too, because they're, um, 
first record was um, called Sepia, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. I, I used to be a real big Portal fan, and uh, I kind of fell off a little bit after this record here and got a lot more into um, Impetuous Ritual and kind of was like, Portal's a little too crazy for me right now. And again, it just depends on your mood. If you're in the mood for some insane fucking experimental death metal, then, and you want to scare yourself a little bit, turn the lights out, you know, enjoy some psychedelics, and throw on Portal Ultra, because this is eight tracks of just total savagery of... Savagery. Because <laughs> they, like, take this, like, kind of ritualistic approach to death metal, but, like... At the same time, part of me's like, are these guys being serious, or is this just a gimmick? I don't know, but like, I do know that these guys know how to fucking play their instruments. Because there's no other way for you to write this style of music without knowing what the fuck you're doing behind your instrument. And on this record right here, I feel like they show it off the best. And that's just my personal opinion. Like, Ion's sick as fuck, like I was saying. But, like, I really think Altre is, like, my favorite Portal record. And I'm gonna stick by that. I also don't own Ion. But I've been putting off doing this review. Because I didn't really know what to say about it that hasn't already been said about Portal. I mean, they're one of the few bands out there that, you know, don't really get shit for wearing, like those type of costumes and whatnot, like, a band like the Ominous Circle, for as sick as they are, they sadly get, like, hit with that, like, oh, they're just a portal knockoff. Same goes for, like, MGLA and, uh, some other bands in that scene and whatnot. Like, who cares? I mean, it's their, them doing their own thing, and the Ominous Circle, getting to see them live was amazing and that was like a legit straight up ritual and it was great but what portal do here with altre is just create some of the most unsettling and gnarly death metal ever written and that's not just me saying that just listen to this yourself if you don't believe me it's fucking sick i just wish you know i could tell you what was actually going on musically behind some of the more fucking insane parts of this album because everything builds up and creates this very unsettling vibe and it's just great especially when the curator's vocals kick in which are amazingly heavy and same thing with the guitar work as well as being technical and just out there it's fucking crushing and just an awesome release from portal great sophomore record and if you want to get in the portal i highly suggest checking this record out first working your way backwards and then going forwards again but maybe going to ion because it's a little more straightforward for portal but not for a normal death metal band and Portal is anything but normal. So, if you like some weird, out there death metal with like a nice Lovecraftian touch, as well as some straight up originality and total weirdness, you can't go wrong with the horrific Portal Altre on Hell's Headbangers and Profound Lore Records. Killer, killer shit. I grabbed this during a Dark Descent record sale. So thank you for having a copy for a nice price, and yeah, we we're blasting Tomb Mold, Manor of Infinite Forms on 20 bucks spin records. Fuck yeah. Fourth dimensional death metal from Canada. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hoos. <laughs>